Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is whenever you're watching this video. I hope y'all are having or had a great day. This morning we're down here fixing to do a little snagging at call. We did snag yesterday. It was really good until they turned the water on. I got here again this morning to try it again. The water is not running again. The river is real low, so I'm hoping it's going to be good like it was yesterday morning. But I am out of barbless hooks. The place we normally buy our hooks from is out of barbless hooks with the coronavirus going on and everything like that. A lot of people are out fishing, so a lot of the tackle places and things like that, the bait shop stuff, are having a hard time keeping things in stock. So I had to buy barbed hooks. Well, here in Oklahoma, barbed hooks are illegal. I know there's some other states where it's okay to use barbed hooks, but in Oklahoma, it's illegal. So I figured this morning, before we go down here and get into snagging, I'm going to debarb a bunch of these hooks. You can have barbed hooks on you as long as they're not on your pole as long as you don't have them tied on and aren't using them in Oklahoma, but I'd rather just not take them down there with me at all. I'll just debarb a few, and then that's what I'll take with me. So I figured I'd show a little video on how I debarb them. Now, there's all different ways. You could use a Dremel, you could use a grinder. Um, this is just the way I do it whenever I'm out here, you know, fishing, and I don't have access to that stuff. So anyway, let me get this camera set up, and we'll show you how we get this done. All right, as you can see, I've got everything laid out here to debarb these hooks. Now, the reason I have a pair of pliers out here is because I know a lot of people will just take a pair of pliers and they will smash the barbs. As you can see, these are barbed hooks, which in Oklahoma are illegal to snag with. But, like I say, some people will just smash them, and I'm going to show you what happens when you smash them. If you're somebody that's new to snagging or something like that. All right, so that was just a light, light smash on the barb. You can see it's still, there's still a bump there. And my finger, if I run it across there, still, you could still snag it, your, your finger on it just a little bit. Now, if a game warden was to, come up and you had hooks like that smash down like that I can almost guarantee you're gonna get a ticket a ticket there was no reason for you to get if you would have took just a little more time and really really smash that barb now I'm gonna go back to that same barb well no let's go to a different one that way we can show the difference I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it more back in here and the a little further back in the pliers now we're going to take and rock that pliers back and forth and what we're trying to do is we're trying to break that the tip of that barb off all right now as you can see we've smashed it down pretty good you run your finger along there it's smooth it's, there's a bump there, but it's not snagging on my finger or nothing. It's not dragging on my finger like a sharp point or nothing. But that's probably still going to be illegal. If a game warden was to come by and check you and you had that, that's probably still going to be illegal. That's why I file them. I don't just smash them. These files are cheap. This one came from Harbor Freight. I think it was like three bucks. This one I got at a bait shop for like five bucks. This one I keep on me for sharpening hooks. Uh, when you've been snagging quite a while and you haven't lost your gear, which anybody that's ever spoonbill knows, you lose quite a bit of gear. But if you haven't lost your gear, eventually your hooks start to get dull. After hitting the bottom, hitting rocks, being laid in the sand, you know, things like that, they're going to get dull. So I always keep one of these around just to sharpen hooks anyway. But I'm going to use this one to take the barb off and then we'll use this one to re sharpen the hook back up so now i'm going to show you on we'll use this barb i'm going to file this barb down and then sharpen the hook up and i'll show you the difference All right, now that just took, you know, 
minute and a half, maybe two minutes, if that. And that is all gone. That barber is gone. That is smooth. If a game warden come up and rubbed his finger along that, he'd be happy with it because you cannot feel any barb, any remainder of a barb, anything. I'll do one more and I'll do it actually not on time warp so you can see how long it actually takes but you can definitely see the difference here's the one we just kind of barely smashed you can still see my fingers hanging up on it here's the one we really rocked the pliers around on and then there's the one that's been filed so So now I'll go ahead and we'll do, I'll file one actually. I'll leave the camera running normal the whole time so you can actually see how long it takes. Um, I'm definitely going to turn the sound down because it's going to get kind of loud. My camera tripod is setting on the tailgate and I'm going to have to set the hook on the tailgate. So as I grind across it, that sound is going to reverberate through the camera. So I'm going to turn the sound down, turn some music up. I'll leave the camera going normal though, and you can see how long it takes to actually grind one of these barbs off. Take a second here. Go ahead and sharpen that hook up. Okay. And there we go. That barb is completely gone. You're not going to snag on that. You hit a fish, that's going to pull right out. You can still see a little indention because of whenever they cut the barbs in, it cuts in pretty deep, but you can't, there's nothing there to snag on anything. When you run your finger across that, it's smooth. So, 
anyway that's how we uh debarb hooks i hope this helps some of y'all and remember if you're in the state of oklahoma make sure all your barbs are removed so that you don't get a ticket that you didn't have to have all right guys i just want to say one thing if you get in the comments and start bashing game wardens and stuff like that because i've seen in a lot of videos where people bring up game wardens or law enforcement everybody getting in the comments and bashing them and everything like that especially in the times the way they are right now i just want to let you know your comments will be deleted and nobody will see them so you're just wasting your time typing them dfa the damn fishing addicts are not against game wardens we're not against law enforcement i have two friends that are game wardens and i highly respect both of them so don't take this video as us talking down about game wardens or anything like that because it is not that way at all so again if you leave your nasty comments about game wardens and law enforcement it's going to fall on deaf ears because it's just going to be deleted so anyway hope you all enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> I'll do it. I see you. It's all yours. Hold on. There you go. There you go, big guy. It's supposed to pay off the first. There's another one. Coming at me. Monster. Come on. <laughs> 
Come off. Come off. <laughs> Come off. Here, Jordan, hold this. I'll get him off. All right, here's the broadband better. I really this on there. Yeah, go ahead. All right, buddy. All you. You have to do it. There you go. You're there free. Go. <laughs> Goose teeth. He is not happy. I'll stick that rod somewhere where he won't feel comfortable sitting down. See how it's done, Caleb? Throw it out there, first swing, catch one. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I apologize for there being no video last week. We did a whole catch, clean, and cook on a spoonbill, and as a lot of you know, we don't normally keep spoonbill, but with Father's Day coming up, my wife and kids got me a little smoker, and all I've heard is how great smoked spoonbill is. So we did a catch, clean, and cook, we had it all shot, we went to upload it to the computer, and I don't know what happened, but file corrupted or something, and basically, poof, it was gone. So that's why there was no video last week. Um, I will tell you, I'm still not a fan of Spoonbill. <laughs> if you have a good recipe for how to actually cook Spoonbill, um, definitely let us know. We may share them on our Facebook or something, but I can say I'm definitely still not a fan. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a great week, and hopefully next time we'll see you at the day.